everybody, I'm back. I know it's been a few weeks, but we all know life gets really busy, work gets really busy, you get too broke to afford your ingredients. A million different excuses, but anyway, I'm back this week to show you how to do something sort of spring, summer fresh. We're going to do a strawberry pie in a mug. Trust me, there's only very few ingredients, and this takes hardly any time at all. Well, start out with our traditional large wide mouth mug. First thing you're going to do is get yourself about a heaping cup of chopped strawberries. You're just going to dump those into your mug. And then you're going to grab a spoon, which I conveniently always seem to forget. Then you're going to dump in a tablespoonful of sugar. Get over your strawberries. Then a teaspoon of flour. And you're going to mix that up. Make sure you get all your strawberries coated. Once you think you have all your strawberries nice and coated, shake it around. You're going to take some puff pastry, thawed. Just, this is just simple stuff you can find at Walmart. And you're going to cut a square that is going to be big enough to drape over the top of your mug. You're just draping it like that. And you don't need to cut it to fit down in or anything. You're just draping it over top. Then you're going to take one egg. You're going to beat it up in here. Now, if you don't have a pastry brush, you can use a fork or a spoon to brush this egg on top. This is your egg wash. But if you happen to have a, just a little like brush of some sort, of course, I have an official pastry brush, but you know. You're going to take that egg, and you're just going to lightly brush the top of your puff pastry. You'll see the puff pastry is kind of folding down, but that's good. We like that. You should get good coating on everything. This helps it puff up nice. Now, I'll try not to stick it to my mug, but yeah. Hope everybody's been doing good. Like I said, I am sorry to have been gone so long, but oh, life and work, what can you say? Okay, so once you think you've got your puff pastry nice and covered, you are done with your egg and you can just dump out or make yourself a little omelet with what's left. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, you're going to take this and you're going to pop it in the fridge. Fridge. In the microwave. Duh. Can you tell I'm still tired? Oh my. We're going to pop that in there for a minute and a half. And then we're going to check on it. You can start cleaning stuff up then. Now this is a recipe that we're going to check it uh, after a minute and a half, and if we need to do it longer, we'll do it another 30 seconds. Point is, we want the puff pastry to be crisp. It's not going to puff up real big because we're just doing it in the microwave and not the oven, but you want it crispy so that you can crush it down into your pie filling. 
in, oh, it's getting there, but you can obviously see mine, well, you can't see it, but you might see on yours, that mine's still got that gooey cooking look to it. So, I'm actually going to do mine another minute. You might be able to do yours another 30 seconds, but I can tell that mine definitely needs another minute. And that's just how it's going to be, just doing it a little bit longer at a time until your puff pastry is done. I might have made my piece a little bigger than I should have, but what are you going to do? You'll just be, you probably won't be able to see it. You can't see it on mine. But it's really getting nice and roundy because all this strawberry and sugar and flour inside is really cooking good. And it is definitely popping up now. Now the egg wash has dripped down onto the microwave a little bit. But yeah, paper towel, towel. You'll be able to clean that up, no problem. <laughs> oh, no poke mine a little bit because it is puffed up but it's still not completely done so I don't want any explosions in my microwave so <laughs> it's getting there it is almost done it is getting there like I said I've got a few spots that are cooked and a few spots that still need a little more going so I'm going to do mine 30 more seconds and like as I always said Yours might be done, but I want to try and show you what a completed one looks like. I think what I did is, like I said, you put a light covering of the egg wash on. I may have put too much egg wash on my... Oh, I can hear. Starting to cook. Getting there. Let me just poke the top. Oh, got some to go yet. Hey, it's all trial and error. We never know. Let me clean this off. Sorry to leave stuff laying around. We never know exactly how it's going to turn out, do we? This is going to turn out, it just may take a little bit longer for me than it will for you. I think I made some of my puff pastry a little too thick, but point being, this is what yours is going to look like after it's done. Yes, the puff pastry is still going to be over top, but you're just going to crisp it all down in when it's done and just be able to pull yourself up. Crunch, 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 crunch. Nice look. Yes, my puff pastry is cooperating. A nice scoop of, I would like I said recommend, maybe letting it set a minute or two, of ooey gooey strawberry pie. I would try it for you, but I uh, value my taste buds because, hey, you kind of need me to have those to show you some more recipes. Anyway, I'll see you in a week or two, next week, whatever, if I can think of something good for show you guys. But anyway, enjoy your strawberry mug and a pie. I love doing it for you. Thank you.